So let's start with a truism. You cannot trust a man with a mustache. In fact, most men with a mustache don't trust a man with a mustache. Am I right? But frankly, I never thought about the corollary question. Can you trust a man with a beard? At least I hadn't thought about it until Drew Bledsoe tweeted immediately after the Pats' amazing Super Bowl comeback, made possible by a once-in-a-lifetime catch by a guy with a beard and wearing his former number. Time to trim up that beard there, Edelman 11. Can't have my legacy number looking like a homeless logger. So I started thinking about it. Obviously, we all trusted this guy. Some trust these guys. Few would trust him. And no one would trust this man with a beard. Of course, more than half of the U.S. doesn't trust him without a beard either. So I was leaning towards the no-trust side of the ledger. But then I thought about, how, about the bearded guests on this show. For example, the conductor of the BSO just the other night. He looked good. Christopher Myers of Myers and Chang. What's not to like? Galen Moore, editor of Bostino. A, a beard you can believe in. And back to Julian Edelman. In response to Drew Bledsoe, he maintains homeless chic is in. So, do you trust the clean-shaven metrosexual or a hirsute lumbersexual? Bottom line, I just don't know. But what I do know is still can't trust a man with a mustache.